so here we have <coughs> here we have all i want all the employees and department number uh, and all the department number that they are assigned to so basically what two tables do i have to deal with yahan pe hmm मुझे ऑल यहाँ पे एक और ऑल डाल दो आई वॉन्ट ऑल द एम्प्लॉ नंबर्स एंड ऑल द डिपार्टमेंट नंबर्स सो बेसिकली वॉट आई एम टारगेटिंग ओवर ह्योर इज वॉट आई एम टारगेटिंग ओवर ह्योर इज समथिंग लाइक आई डोंट हैव अ picture for a cross showing chicken no issue all the employee numbers and all the department numbers kuch bhi de do ye to comment hai doesn't matter ye comment hai ye run nahi karna hai aise bhi theek hai so we will write select ye run karna code just type it down select dm dot star D dot star करो लिखो आई एल एक्सप्लेन अभी आप लोग को ही समझ आ जाएगा फ्रॉम आई एम नॉट यूजिंग द डुप्लीकेट टेबल ठीक है चलो सो नाउ फर्स्ट लेट एस डू वन थिंग बिफोर रनिंग दिस कोड जस्ट रन सिलेक्ट फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट मैनेजर आई हैव अ डिपार्टमेंट ओरिजिनल इन माई ओरिजिनल डेटा बेस वी हैड अ डिपार्टमेंट मैनेजर एंड वी हैड अ डिपार्टमेंट टेबल है ना सो दिस इज अ डिपार्टमेंट मैनेजर टेबल दिस हैज हाउ मेनी रोज ट्वेंटी फोर रोज मैनेजर डुप्लीकेट नहीं 24 फोर रोज वाई बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली वी हैव सम एडिशनल डुप्लीकेट दैट वी क्रिएटेड इन द डिपार्टमेंट मैनेजर डुप्लीकेट एंड वी रिमूव सर्टन रोज इन द डिपार्टमेंट टेबल दीज आर द डिपार्टमेंट हाँ अदिति सबके में ट्वेंटी सिक्स रोज आ रहे हैं देन देर इज समथिंग रॉन्ग इन योर कोड नो इशू ठीक है तुमने कुछ इंसर्ट कर दिया होगा इन द डिपार्टमेंट्स एंड नॉट इन द डुप्लीकेट्स कोई दिक्कत नहीं है जस्ट मैच व्हाट वी आर गेटिंग वी आर गेटिंग डी जीरो जीरो वन के दो वैल्यूज हैं आई थिंक डी जीरो जीरो नाइन तक है नो इशू ठीक है कोई दिक्कत नहीं है एंड वी हैव द एंड वी हैव द डिपार्टमेंट स्टेबल ह्योर वी हैव नाइन रोज डी से बेसिकली डी से डी के ऑल वन वन वैल्यूज वी हैव नाउ वट आई एम डूइंग इज my target is to get all the columns from the department manager table department manager mein we have four columns department number employee number from date to date in department table we have two columns department number and department name so i want all the columns from these two tables and i want all the employees in all the departments so basically we want the entire output अब आउटपुट कैसे आएगा समझना वी आर राइटिंग फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट मैनेजर सो दैट इज वाई एम राइटिंग डी एम डॉट स्टार 
Star means all the columns. D dot star means all the columns and I'm using a cross join. Okay, and let me run this. So see what are we getting over here? Department manager, I have MK Shagar DM. On statement ka sarvati nahi hai. Because cross join means you are selecting all the values. It's kind of union, huh? I'll explain. We have department number in the department manager table. We have department number in the department table as well. So we are that is why getting two times the particular column and also the output it does not make much of sense right now but later on we'll be doing one assignment on this what is happening is we are getting all the values from the department table department manager table Maha pe d001 ke there were two values Chike? so for all those 20 all those values all those two values hamare sare departments are they d009 tak for all the D001 values, we are getting corresponding all the D01, D02, D0 till 9. So basically, how many rows are we getting here? 216. 24 into 9 is? Cross join is basically for each value in department manager, you are joining it with each value in department table. So what we actually do over here is for suppose ye null value koi ignore hume, we have this D002 this entire D002 wala row this row will be matched with all the rows then this row will be matched with all the rows and so on so basically 24 into multiplied by 9 216 baad mein. We'll do one sum. Bhoat bar kya hota na? You want all the columns from two tables. Chike, you want to visualize. To us sum we use the... See, because otherwise, if you want all the columns from two tables, you cannot select it. Otherwise, aise aapko nahi aa sakta without a join. You'll always have to use a join statement to get values from two different tables together in one place. Hana? So when you want to visualize all the columns or maybe some few columns pe what I have done I have selected all the columns I could have selected some of the columns only I could have done that but why I have selected all the columns because otherwise it will not make sense if I don't select the department number na, to kya aega, wo galat ho jayega. like I will get D001 either, but I will get different department names which will not make sense so that is why I selected department number from both the tables this is generally done when you want to visualize two or more tables together in one place which is otherwise not possible. You can only visualize using some join so that is why we use a cross join when you want. So now I know because since I have run a cross join and I know what cross join means I know that ye wale jo hai, these are the different employees D001 wale, these are the different employees and these are my different departments. So for each employee I am getting nine de departments. Okay, and let me just quickly run this again for you all. Uh, department manager. Idhar pe D001 was two times. So that is why over there we are getting D001 for 18 times. 1 into 9 plus 1 into 9. Okay, dekh lo. Isko thoda bada kar lete Dekho, D001 we are getting for. Isko count kar sakte aap lo. We are getting it for same employee number hai. 1103911002 we are getting it for 9 plus 9 18 times for all the departments okay this is generally done sometimes to visualize the data otherwise which is not possible